Hello everybody and welcome to another video in the Engine Snack series. I'm Grandmaster Matthew Sadler and we are taking a look at a testing game today between Koi Visto 714 and Stockfish 11 CCRL running on four CPUs. So um, uh, currently, yeah, testing going on for, uh, for League 2 and League 1. Uh, which is coming up in uh, the TCC and uh, whenever that happens uh, the the new kids on the block get to play against the old guys engines like uh, Stockfish 11, Komodo 10, Komodo 14 or Stockfish 13. Here Covisto is playing against um, Stockfish 11 and um, a pretty sharp position as you can see in general you'd expect white to be doing pretty well black's uh, king side has been blasted open and um, um, white is a pawn down, but um, got quite a few pieces bunched on the king side. But as always, whenever Stockfish is defending, it's not easy to see a way through. Uh, the most obvious way of, uh, of playing would be to play uh, the move knight g5, threatening queen h7 check. That looks pretty good. Um, I mean, it is quite a big advantage for white, but um, the problem is, is that uh, uh, bishop takes g5 and king f8 happens. And then, you know, the black king has the chance to run to the queen side. Um, you know, white's definitely going to pick up some material along the way. But um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really feel like it's uh, something that's going to end in mate. And well, you know, looking at this position, you sort of feel you should uh, get closer to mate than, uh, than this. But Coivisto found an absolutely beautiful uh, way of playing. Um, and this was this move, knight g3. What is knight g3 doing? Well, obviously it's um, uh, actually getting the knight into position. I mean, this knight can come to, uh, to f5. Um, it could also come to e4, g5, which is a really major uh, idea. And we also have the possibility of rook takes e6, just defending, uh, uh, removing one of these defenders. And of course, also dragging this f pawn from uh, f7 so that the queen can come to g6. And the variations are, are very, very interesting. I mean, if uh, the obvious move is f takes g3, and then we go rook takes e6. Um, if you take here then I th there's many different ways of winning but the engine way is gorgeous here it's a uh, knight g5 bishop takes g5 and then rook f7 really beautiful and um you know queen g6 or queen h7 can't be stopped quite unusual way of uh, of doing it this way um knight f4 um lots of ways of uh, of doing it but bishop takes f4 takes rook e4 coming back to g4 with tempo and then queen d6 knight e5 always a key idea here joining in the attack against uh, f7 and then rook g4 check is also being threatened so i mean that's really you know really quite clear now um what um uh um what uh, stockfish decided was to try and defend the uh, the bishop on e6 from attack along the third rank um the only question is you know why are you putting the queen on on b6 well if you go to d6 i'll go knight e4 with tempo and then get in knight g5 that's really big and if you go queen c6 i'll just go knight e5 with tempo and uh, something like this with threatening rook g5 check f6 queen g6 check king f8 rook h5 curtains you know just uh, really really bad uh, the other move i was looking at was to play knight e3 just to try and block this line but um, but I just carry on with knight g5 anyway, you know, and uh, if you go knight takes f1, I just give a check and then rook takes e6 and uh, bad things are happening. I'm going to threaten queen f7 mate and bishop g5 allows uh, queen h8 checkmate. So pretty powerful. So, I mean, Stockfish defended with uh, with queen b6 here. So just ready to, to meet um, rook takes e6 with uh, queen takes e6. Um, but Coivisto had an absolutely beautiful uh, um, idea and it's, uh, it's so beautiful actually that it takes uh, Stockfish just um, a little bit of time to, uh, to fully appreciate it, which uh, is quite unusual. Um, so Bishop A5 was the, was the move. It's really good. You've got Knight G3 on one side, Bishop A5 on the other. What on earth is the idea here? Well, in the game, Stockfish didn't uh, want to take it. But after Queen C6, Knight E5, Queen E8... Bishop takes d8, um, rook takes d8, knight e4. I mean, just totally hopeless for uh, for black. This is a, a huge advantage for white. But how about queen takes a5? Well, what we're going to do then, we're going to play this move, rook takes e6. That's what we're doing. Um, so, um, yeah, what are we threatening here? Well, moves like knight g5. Oops, good lord. Knight g5, knight e5. 
uh, are definitely coming in. And yeah, knight f5, they're all looking pretty good, really. So f takes c6 looks na looks uh, necessary. Queen g6 check. Um, King f8 is met by knight e4. And it's a very slow threat. But uh, yeah, you know, try and stop knight g5 when we'll have the threat of mate through knight e6, queen f7, or knight h7. I mean, it's just impossible to stop all of them. Um, but king h8 is a bit of a challenge. Um, and then we're playing knight to h5. So um, what's uh, white's threat here? There's no immediate threat, but uh, rook g8 check, queen h6 is mate, which is uh, great, obviously. So you can't challenge this queen on g6. And actually what I'm threatening is knight g5. And then I'm threatening either knight f7 check or queen h7 checkmate. So black, amazingly, and I think this is where Stockfish sort of uh, faltered over. Um, black has the amazing defense, queen b4. Um, what's the point? Well, if you go knight g5, I've got queen d4 check, king h2, bishop takes g5, and the queen has managed to cover g7 with tempo, so it's not at all obvious that, um, uh, that white is better here at all. Um, so um, the other, well, you know, what I was thinking of uh, when I saw it was, oh, come on, just king h1 and you're fine. But not so easy, not so fast. We go queen takes b2. And we've got the same trick. We're again on the a1, h8 diagonal. And knight g5, bishop g5 is still okay. And uh, if white tries to play d4 to, uh, to block the, the line, then we, we get ready to do some desperados with knight e3. And then queen takes g2 check. You know, and uh, amazingly, you know, it's only Stockfish can do this. Uh, black is surviving. But white actually has an incredibly important and very strong move. And that's rook f2. We're blocking this check. So knight g5 is threatened again. And we're also protecting b2. So you just don't get that queen onto the a1, h8 diagonal. And uh, if you don't get that, then there's nothing you can do. Uh, knight g5 is coming in and uh, mate is imminent. Uh, the only way that, uh, that Stockfish was finding anything to do was to give up the queen with queen d4. But yeah, that's not really going to, uh, that's not really a long-term solution. So um, uh, yeah, beautiful play from Koivistod. So uh, knight to g3, peace offered on the, on the king side, and then bishop a5. Um, a, um, uh, a piece offered on the queen side and uh, yeah I mean I think it's very 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 beautiful always you know I always find when uh, you set up uh, an attacking structure and then um, you know the opponent has moves but somehow you know the mobility of your pieces is so good that uh, all the moves in the world just aren't going to help the opponent and uh, yeah I thought this was a, a really great game from, uh, from Koivisto.